the very reason why uh, we do this webinar today or why I choose this case study is simply because um, I'm going to just show you the stock price of Mr. DIY in advance. So Mr. DIY wasn't, it was listed not too long ago, as you can see on, on uh, Google Finance over here. So this is how the stock price looked like. Okay, wasn't listed too long ago. After it has listed, it has actually, there's a lot of hype when it comes to Mr. DIY over here. So a lot of people are actually buying, buying his shares. So it went all the way up to two ringgit 83 cents. And then after, after that, right, then for the next three years or so, it just kind of like declined. Lah. And uh, so for this webinar, right, I would like to actually uh, walk you through how I see things or, or I will try to actually do a bit of post-mortem. I will do a little bit of uh, investigation. So, so this is actually more like a step-by-step -step, um, guide as to how, how I actually go through investigating this kind of stuff. Where, how do I actually explain this kind of a decline in stock prices? Okay. From my investigative work, what I see is that, hey, Mr. DIY, in terms of retail network, it is growing. It is mushrooming. Earnings, okay, when it comes to income productivity, revenues have been growing, even at a rate of 23.5%. Earnings have grown, although slower, but it's still 17.8%. Okay, um, earnings have been growing. Operating cash flow, still growing. All right, so... In terms of fundamentals, um, I would say that I haven't actually seen anything anything uh, ugly yet. Lah. It seems to be, oh, sales has been growing, uh, earnings have been growing, cash flow has been positive. Okay, so in that in that sense, I'm starting to tick the checkbox already. Okay, this one okay, this one okay, that one okay. So nothing, so nothing yet I see, all right, that causes the price drop in the, uh, Mr. DIY at this point in time. So back to this stock price chart, right? Actually, we can see a lot of, uh, I mean to say psychologically speaking, right? We can see we can, there is something for us to learn over here. Lah. If you look at the Mr. DIY group, uh, the stock price, I guess a lot of people, there are some people in the stock market, right? They will think that this is actually a growth stock simply because the stock price has actually doubled in a very short span of time. So maybe people are more motivated to actually invest, more, more, more motivated to buy a stock over here, thinking that it can actually go, I do not know where, lah, but they are more happy to buy over here. But then over time, right, if you buy based on this kind of mindset, what happened is that over time, if the valuation is not right and the stock price actually dropped like this, right, you kind of like lose a lot of motivation. Lah. Especially if you buy anywhere here or here, right? You kind of like, uh, how would I say? The best way to describe this is sian lah, or you just, or you, you are kind of like bored already simply because the stock price did not grow any, any further. You thought that you would go, go to $3, $4, $5, but no, it just lackluster. Lah. And then you just, you want to look at your stock portfolio again. Uh, and that was actually, that is actually, I believe, what happened to a lot of people. They buy because thinking that this is growth stock. And then after this, they lose interest already because, <laughs> oh. because it, it doesn't grow anymore. Uh. So beware of that mindset. Uh. Okay. So don't look at growth stock simply because just because the stock price is actually growing. Uh. You have to look at the business. Uh.